Yo guys, Features Gaming here, welcome back to another video here on the channel and another episode of February X, episode 20 today. Only 8 days left now, so we are getting close to the end of February. And today I'm going to be reacting to my Going to Alton Towers Scarefest video that I did in October in 2017. The reason why I am reacting to this video is purely because of entertainment, because in this video I actually really liked it, which is why I actually have it liked, because I actually really like this video. It was probably one of my favourite ones to make and edit, because... I just love going to Alton Towers. I loved editing it. It took me a full, like, whole day to edit, like, full 12 hours. So, yeah, I did spend a little while to edit it. And I actually really liked how the um, video came up. So, this is going to be one that I've kind of seen recently because, as I said, so we're just going to react to it and uh, just spot out maybe the key elements of uh, what may have been wrong in this video. So, let's go. I mean, that uh, intro was good. Hey Features Gaming here with another vlog, and today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be going to Alton Towers because it is Scarefest season at the moment, and we yep. also want to see what's going on with the SWA construction. Also well. now, now known so as Wicker Man. We are going to be going there tomorrow because it actually all starts tomorrow, but I'm vlogging today because we have to get up super early tomorrow, so I'm Do just you? filming today just so I have that intro. So, I think, without further ado... Let's get down to Washington Towers. Okay. Now, I was really impressed on how this montage came out. <laughs> Wearing a Dan TDM, <laughs> like a, the t-shirt. Um, obviously, uh, his uh, first tour that he did. Uh, if we were to go again, probably wearing this t-shirt. Oh, probably not this one. Maybe this one instead. My features giving t-shirt and not that one. Um, but, you know... I guess it was what I just was going to wear, I guess. Because <laughs> obviously I didn't have this back in 2017. Oh yeah, I remember this. And then wearing an Eddie Sobart fleece as well to add to it. Now the reason why I did that is because I had in mind what music I was going to use for the montage and I knew that that beat happened and that's what in that and that, I was literally planning this as I was doing the montage. I wanted to do that as it went onto the beat and then cut to the driving. I am honestly so pleased on how this montage came out. I slowed that down. Cuz obviously because the car is so juddery and I actually zoomed into like uh, like I was vlogging using my camcorder and I zoomed in at the max it could be to, for, to you know, video that aeroplane. And because the, you know, the car was, you know, bouncing all around, I had to slow down and just kick, pick like a key part of when I had it. And this is also sped up uh, two times as well. So we are now at Alton Towers. We're in the express order table parking because we do this every year we come. Yep. And it's empty. Look at that. Literally no one here. Apart from the two cars over to my right, your left, yeah. It said the sign that there was full. That might just be the pre-booked people. But anyway, we are here. The park hasn't actually opened because it's like half eight. So it's the park is going to open in like two hours, I think. So that gives us enough time to get the tickets and get into the park without any rush. So we think we just need to wait two hours to get into the park. The monorail cool. hasn't even opened yet. It opens at nine. Oh, yeah. So they're not actually getting the people into the entrance yet because... I actually, ha I don't actually think I've ever been on the monorail at Ons Towers. Probably when I was very little, but I don't think I've ever been on the monorail. So then it'll be, it'll be a crowd of people to get in and that'll just make it harder for the employees to let everyone through and have a nice time. So I think they're going to get people in with no rush. I think they're going to take it slow this year because last year it was a bit of a hectic run. Yeah. So I think they're just going to take it slowly this time so everyone gets in without any struggle and they have a nice time. Oh yeah, I love this. Right, the thing is that this is slowed down as well. And my stepdad actually picked out, you know that, um, what is it, like some sort of bird um, going, uh, you know, like be, with it being slowed down and going across the screen. Um, he actually really liked how that came out. That wasn't planned though. I just literally started recording and then did a slow zoom out. Uh, I did actually slow down the video in post because I didn't, I didn't slow it uh, down. 
um, as much as I could. And then that bird just, you know, like came across the screen with in perfect time to the music and it just made the scene a whole lot. It just made the scene a different atmosphere and the cloudy skies as well actually added to the environment. It was actually a perfect day to, you know, like film this on because obviously uh, if I filmed this on like a very sunny day, it wouldn't have pro it probably like this. This clip probably didn't have the same atmosphere. If, if this was like, you know, like bright and sunny skies, blue skies. So I think it actually worked with it being slightly cloudy on that day because it also meant that it wasn't too chilly. It wasn't too hot. It was quite a nice uh, day. And uh, yeah, it just made it perfect to, uh, you know, as I said, have the footage uh, in a uh, good atmosphere, I guess. So at the moment we are just waiting to get our tickets. There isn't actually anyone in the base to get the tickets because I don't think most employees are here the ride this, isn't even open this is something i have a i have an issue with this why was i talking about employees and stuff i should have just you know got straight to the vlog and saying right this is what i'm doing this is what i'm doing look i mean that's what vlogs are for i mean i guess back in 2017 like i i like i kind of got more into vlogging i guess and was doing a whole lot more vlogs than i uh, usually did and I, I don't think back then i realized what i was like picking up the video, why I was picking up the camera to record for, I guess. Until like another hour, so the rides haven't even been tested yet. So yeah. in a few minutes, I'll be starting to test, and then an hour later, we'll be able to go in. I have actually just seen some employees walking through there. So there are employees here, definitely, but I don't think most are here at the moment because they'll be in the base getting tickets. Well, not getting tickets, but they'll be giving out the tickets to customers who want to get into the park, you see. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just waiting to get in, and then I'll inform you guys if anything else happens. Cool. My stepdad just forgot my age. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> I forgot about wow. that. The entrance is now starting to fill up with customers trying to get into the park, and that's only from the express car park. The monorail hasn't even opened, so I can believe... What it's going to look like when the monorail starts to open. I can hear the rides being tested. Monorail's going. Okay, so we have got all of our passes. I think now we're going to go into CBB's Land because that's where Lauren wants to go. We didn't actually have so gloves I think on though, so... And then what... I think it was a bit chilly, but like it's not kind of like the, the coldness that you would expect in October, I guess. It's a show because there are shows here at Scarefest. And then we're going to go down to X Sector and all of them kind of stuff and go on some of them rides there. So, let's go. The rides haven't even actually opened yet. They open at 10, what well, most rides do. Some rides even open at half 10. So, I think actually what we're going to do is go get the bottles to get the drinks, because I think we're gonna go for the refill drinks. I'm gonna go for the soft drinks, the, like, yeah. the fizzy drinks. I'm gonna so have like those. the Coca-Cola ones. And my sister is going to go with the hot drinks and she's gonna get the hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, this and is probably we're another- we one throughout the whole day, so we don't- yeah, this is probably uh, one of those of the days where I probably consume a bit more Coca-Cola than uh, I uh, usually would. And fun fact, I actually had Coca-Cola with my uh, dinner today. Didn't know you did, did you? Know that? <laughs> Keep changing and switching bottles or stuff. We just stick into one drink so we can refill it as many times as we want for free. Because when you bought the pass, you can refill it how many other times you want for free. And that's what I like about on Towers. So let's get the drinks. It's actually looking like that it's not unlimited refills anymore. Who knew? I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, we have to do what we have to do. Okay, so it's free for the cold drinks throughout the day, free refills, but for the hot drinks, it's one pound per refill. So let's cool. just do a quick taste test. It's still the Coca-Cola I know and love. Yeah. Okay, so we waited. When we got them as well, like the, the 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 bottles were like um the bottle was a little bit different um it like um we used to it, I don't know how to say it, but we like we used to get it in like these um in like these like proper cups but now they like switched to bottles um so yeah I mean they worked well uh, worked well worked well um but um yeah the um. I mean, obviously they still tasted the fine, but like the other one was with was was with a straw, and the other one was just a bowl. It was good. Oh, I just muted it. So I'm gonna vlog this one. Okay. Okay. Free let's go back here. For the hot drinks, it's one pound per refill. So just let's informing just you guys on what was test. happening. If you were going to Watton Towers that year. It's still the Coca-Cola I know and love. Cool. Okay, so we waited for the in the night garden ship ride. So I'm gonna vlog this one because you can. So here it is. Right, this is another massive thing that I, ha that I have an issue with. Basically, I filmed the entirety of this ride. And 
The whole ride duration, I think, is around six minutes. So what I did is I sped it up by two times. So the whole thing was three minutes duration. And what I did is I found the In the Night Garden actual soundtrack and I put it in the video, basically. Um, a, I think I got co uh, reported copyright. So that was fun. Um, and um, also, the, it just gets a boring. So... We're gonna skip through this. If you want to see this, then go to the video description. Uh, go to the video that is linked below, and you can watch it for yourself if you're really that bored. But we're just gonna skip through this because this is just so boring. Uh, where are we? Let's go to about here, I think. Hopefully, I don't get reported copyright for that. I have a top on. Right, cool. Mate. Now I have a bubble head on me. I mean, the, I mean, those those screens were actually kind of impressive to see, actually. Okay, so we're going to queue for the tree food Tom. No, it's not the tree food Tom thing. Uh, I don't even know why I thought it was that right, but no, it's actually the Get Set Go tree top adventure. I, I think that tree top thing was what was messing with thing, me. Which is basically a track above the ground. This is what it looks like. Cool. It's basically just a track on top of CBB's land. Giving us a little tour. That's what it basically is. So we are going to go on it. Obviously, you wouldn't be in the queue anyway, would you? Snorts ride, and then I think we'll be going to do some of the rides. Oh yeah. I mean, this is probably another ride that was kind of a little bit boring, but it was quite fun because again, I sped it up and. Um, I actually found some really cool music, and I actually really like the music, still to this day as well. Um, so we're actually going to just watch all of this. If I get reported copyright, I don't care, because I'm doing this for entertainment. I'm not doing this for money. So yeah, we're just going to watch it. If I get copyrighted, who cares? I know the lyrics as well. I am still a kid when it comes to CBBS, like... I mean, I don't watch any of the shows now. Um, maybe if I'm, like, hella bored in lockdown or whatnot, I do <laughs> revisit them, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, the only kiddie shows that I probably watch now uh, is probably Horrid Henry a bit. Uh, and I actually watch the Postman Pat the Movie uh, thing as well. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, and then there's just other kiddie things that I watch. But, like... Things like, I don't know, Teletubbies and Tweenies and stuff like that. I don't really watch those anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, as I said, watch a few of them. I, I kind of like watch my uh, childhood favourites maybe uh, once or twice. But uh, yeah, I don't really watch it excessively like uh, what I did back then. So yeah, and the songs should bring back memories as well. It's an absolute tune, this is. Can you see the correlation as to why I um, chose that song now? BB Bugs in this song was, you know, about going through the CBB's land thing. Hello, you. <laughs> yeah, I actually spotted that last moment. Oh, there we go. There's my, uh, there's my parents over there. Yeah, you can probably tell it's sped up from uh, the speed of the, uh, from the speed of the uh, people going on down there. Honestly, I still love this tune. You guys are probably thinking, oh god, what is this tune? I love it. <laughs> Especially with, you know, like the Rory and Bradley songs and, you know, the Haven songs I still play. Uh, well, I play on the, some of the screens. We are 
now going to and skip. the duration of that song was perfect as well for the you know the um the uh, length the of the ride as well. Riding. I can't film a minute, so I'm going to put my camera away for the meantime. Sad. Okay, so now <laughs> me and my stepdad are walking down to the Smiler because Lauren and my mum are going to watch oh, a yeah. show that's on at the moment, and I don't particularly want to see it. So we are going to go down to the Smiler because I can only ride one ride with this pass thing that I've got, and then there'll be put a time on, and then we can't ride another ride till that time. Basically, because of my autism, we were able to get the uh, we were able to get the disability pass. Basically, that's how we were we're able to, uh, pass uh, we were able to do the pass and basically skip the queues the essentially. Okay, so even though this... even though we still had to queue for some rides, um, we uh, basically used that to get on to basically skip the really large queues. Basically, so like you know stuff like the smiler, like we uh, we uh, when we used the. Uh, this past thing and um, but on some of the rides we actually just went through the normal queue like if we saw that the, the the actual queue time was like probably 15 minutes or less then we probably would go through the normal queue um but uh, i probably you know like wouldn't you know go into you know like the super long queues that were like half an hour long we'll probably you know go on to the, the and onto like the um the time thing it was a really good ride now we're going to meet up with lauren and my mum and I won't actually vlog yeah, for a while, I don't think. People were trying to get in the video in the background. They just zoomed in on that. There if we do, like again, I'll vlog. So, let's see them. Okay, so we're now on the Postman Pat ride. Um, I don't know when I last got to you, but me and Lauren went on Enterprise. And then I, and then we went to, uh, and then I went on Oblivion. Cool. And then we just been on Sonic Spinball, or Spinball Wizard, and now we're on the Postman Pat ride. Yeah. We kind of went back and forth, like through the, like through the right side of the park. Like we went to CBB's Land, we went to X Sector and stuff. Uh, we didn't go to, you know, like, um, like Mutiny Bay and, you know, Cloud Cuckoo Land or now the world of David Williams. We didn't really go to that area until like the afternoon. Um, but yeah, the, the first part of the morning was basically doing, you know, X Sector and CBB's Land, uh, essentially. So we have to press the right thing. And Tower Street, yeah, obviously. Right. So basically, this is a ride. Be quiet. So basically, this is a ride where you go around, and then there's certain things in different places, and you have to get the right one. Right. So this is going to be sheep. Yeah. yeah sheep. Yep. It's a sheep. It kind of gives you an idea, anyway. Oh no, we got we, we got Mum's worst nightmare: a diversion. Oh. Looks like PC Selby has had to close the room. Oh dear, oh dear. Never mind, you'll just have to take another route. These parcels must be delivered. They must be. Do I take the parcel or not? No. No, that one doesn't have one. Right, this is the spanner. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Looks like a piece of Also, as well, I'm just pointing out, why am I wearing gloves with just a t-shirt on? I have no idea. <laughs> Right, this one's going to be the paintbrush, so we haven't done that one yet. No, I don't think it is. It is. I kind of, like, know the, like, which one, like, which of the buttons you have to do off by heart, basically. <laughs> There we go. One more to go now. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that face. I don't know why, but I just like to keep pressing the horn for some reason on on, on the on the right. Oh wow! Look at that it's smoking. Ooh. It's not on fire. It's the chimney. We did it. We did it. Great job. Nice reverb in the tunnel. A nice reverb horn. Obviously, that honestly, like that, 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 that was you know due to the scenery. Like that echo, you know, like it wasn't uh, done with uh, with an audio edit. That was actually you know <laughs> true. It was just a very nice echoey, you know, 
Right, we're gonna go now because we're stuck in traffic. Okay, so cool. we're now gonna go back to the car because we're gonna have lunch now and then yep. we'll be going on some more rides. Also, as well, uh, when I uh, went back to the car as well, I actually saw Sean from uh, Theme Park Worldwide. Now, obviously, uh, we were just going back to the car for, some, for to, you know, the ride. Um, and uh, I, I, I was gonna. Um, well, well, we weren't, you know, planning to meet him. And at first, we weren't actually sure it was him, but we were like 99% sure. Um, so, obviously, it was Theme Park Worldwide. We uh, kind of um, noticed it, you know, like after we finished the video and saw some of his recent ones. So, I did actually meet uh, Theme Park Worldwide. However, it wasn't kind of like... Like, we didn't talk to him, like, a lot, I guess. It was kind of, you know, like a hello. And um, he was actually the person that, you know, like, because obviously when you go out of the park and you don't want to go back, go back in, like, you have a stamp put on your arm. And he was actually the person that did it to us. Uh, so that was cool. I, uh, you know, actually meeting him, although I didn't really chat with him. I mean, I don't know if you guys know who Theme Park Worldwide is, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, um, I did actually vlog something in the car, but again, I wasn't 99% sure. Um, so I just kind of like left it out. Uh, and then, yeah, this, so this was after the afternoon. And as I can see by the video time, it's not, it doesn't actually seem that long. And I think the reason is, is because I vlogged a lot in the morning. Because in the morning, we weren't really rushing around to go on rides. Um, we kind of, um, kind of like left that to the afternoon. So, um, yeah, like throughout the morning, I had a bit more time to vlog. As you know, the, you know, we were like watching shows and stuff. Like we were just... Basically taking it steady. I mean, even in the afternoon, we did take it a little bit steady, but there was like um, kind of one part where we were just, you know, like queuing, you know, getting off, queuing, getting off, queuing, and there wasn't really time to time to record. So, yeah, the afternoon went a little bit quicker. I vlogged a lot more in the morning than the afternoon, but uh, let's go through it. What are you doing? Being an so aeroplane, apparently. we are going to be going to Rita. Uh, that area, and then we're gonna slowly meet. Yeah, because uh, back then I didn't know like all of the all of the uh, areas. Because obviously you know like we have XX, uh, you know Tower Street, Mutiny Bay. I'm not entirely sure where they are now, um, but yeah, I uh, I knew uh, some of those. Going over there now, and then I think we're going to go back to Runaway Mine Train, and then I don't know what we're going to do. I think then after that we might because Lauren said that she wants to go on Enterprise again in the dark. And Sonic Screwball, so that might give me time to maybe go on the Smiler again. I don't know because I really like Smiler, so I think we might be going on that one again. Oh yeah, there was no more idea, people that wanted to get into the vlog. At the moment, we're gonna do Rita, all the rides over there. Go back to Runaway Mine Train, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we cool. are now on the Skyline, traveling over to Nemesis. We can go on Rita because apparently something keeps on breaking and it keeps on breaking oh, down. So yeah. we're not going to go on Rita, so we're going to go straight over to Nemesis and Galactica. Okay, so it cool. has actually been quite a while since I last Yeah, 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 this what is the thing. Basically, we okay, I'll tell it. Twice. I did it twice with a visor. Lauren did it once without and once with. Lauren didn't like it with, so I think she's going to go on with it without. Well, unfortunately, though, Galactica have now removed the VR, but they've actually but they've still named it Galactica, and uh, I'm really bummed about that because I really liked Galactica with the VR. Like the it, like it was just amazing to you know like have a roller coaster with a VR headset. But um, obviously, I guess that it may have been you know due to like some safety reason or something. Um, but yeah, it was cool to you know at least experience it once. Um, but now, when we go on there, we're gonna have to basically act like we're on. Uh, we're in. Uh, what is it? We're in. Um, uh, it's. Uh, Peace pan goes wrong when we, you know, we act like we're Still flying. Visor because I love the visor. We went on Nemesis once Hello. in between the two Hello. Galacticas. <laughs> and basically, someone said hello to. Well, f for me, it sounded quite, you know, like weird. So I just basically, you know, cut it and just. <laughs> and now that in loads. Going over to the runaway mine train, and then we're gonna come back and see what the queue's like. Then I have no idea, but we're gonna try. So let's get down to the runaway mine train. So we're yeah. now just queuing for the runaway mine train. There's quite a queue, even with fast track pass. So we could be waiting here for a while. Okay, so cool. we went on Galactica again. The the ride is amazing. Yeah, it is really now cool. Now we are heading up. Also, um, we did actually see the SW8 construction, but I didn't vlog any of it 
I don't know why. Also, as well, like, uh, um, I didn't really vlog any of, like, the, the rides going around. Because, as I said, we were kind of, like, rushing a little bit. I mean, I could have done it in the morning. But, again, we were kind of, like, walking around a bit. You know, like, going and, you know, and, you know, meeting up with, you know, like, other members of the family and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't really do it. I mean, obviously, if I went now... A, I'll probably do it on my own, because obviously I'm now a bit older. Um, I probably would be driving myself there and everything, you know, maybe when I get my, uh, uh, when, maybe when I get my uh, driving license. And obviously once COVID is gone as well. Um, so obviously if I'm, you know, there, um, you know, a bit, you know, like by myself, like I wouldn't be having to, you know, keep on, uh, you know, getting family members. Or I might just wait until I'm older. Uh, then I might have time to, you know, like actually, you know, film the thing. But yeah, I wasn't really uh, like like super experience in videography there but i am now a lot so yeah i think it's reopened because it was shut earlier but we don't know so we're heading back over yeah it's quite dark it now reopened. as well if it has then i'm gonna go on it but at the moment <laughs> so yeah well there was that thing but anyway <laughs> i can't That's speak can i right so basically we're gonna go back down there and it's a very confusing route as well because we have been told to go around that way, down this way, back over that way, and we just don't know where to go. Yeah, we so honestly I think didn't know where to go. We're taking the right route here, so we'll see you down at Smiler. Change of plan, we're actually going to go on the tugboat first, Ooh. and then we're going on the Smiler because my sister wants to go on the tugboat, so we're going to be going on the tugboat first, and then Smiler. Okay, so the tugboat cool. was good, that's all finished, now we're heading over to Smiler. And I think my sister's going to watch a few of the numbers from the show, which are songs. Cool. And then she's going to come up to X Sector, so then both me and Lauren can go on Enterprise. First, I'm going on Smiler. Let's get down there. Right, in cool. order to get to Smiler, we have to go through the scary bit, okay? Oh, yeah, the scary so maze. I have no idea what's installed. Because <laughs> someone else getting him a vlog the there. The day, they're just people dressed up. So, let's go through it. Here we go. Really really the thing is that I'd never gone in this, like, at all before the, this day. So, I was a little bit nervous going through, but then I was just, like, thinking, well, actually, what's the worst that can happen, really? Okay. You need to be aware of all around at all times. And then what happens after that? She follows us. <laughs> no, you're following us. This ain't too bad. Obviously, you know, he knew uh, what, it, what, what it's for. It was actually it pretty good, like to that. be honest. That's all right. That was pretty good. It was. Wow. Right, let's go on to the Smiler. Right, it is now the night time freak show. I've got my sister here, Lauren. So we're going to walk through. The first time I walked through, it wasn't scary. Nah. Hi. <laughs> Loads going, Hi. <laughs> To be honest, I did jump a little bit there because, you know, like, I wasn't expecting him. Obviously, I saw him there, but I didn't know, like, it was going to, you know, like, come back and, you know, say, oh, is this a vlog? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'd stop now a little bit. I have no idea. And then, the next bit, for some reason, that was just perfect lighting for, you know, like, that, that, that little snippet. <laughs> no, just saying hello to everyone. She explains why after we walk through it, though. That framing was a little bit off, but I couldn't really see. Uh, I couldn't really see the viewfinder there. 
Also, the laugh I did as well was it was a little bit uh, was a little bit um, cringy, but wasn't it? on us and scare us. Good tip. Right. I think now that is done but we haven't finished yet because we're going to the shop and then McDonald's. So let's go. Cool. Okay so we are now at McDonald's getting our Classic. meals. I am getting a Big Mac and chip. Same as Lauren but I've already got my Coke from Martin Towers. Lauren doesn't have a drink. Basically, I tried to time that because basically, I mean, I can't remember when we refilled them, but like we refilled the drinks before we went home. So then we could, I don't know, like either basically have it at, you know, at McDonald's because usually when we go to Walton Towers, it usually resulted in a McDonald's with it, with it being so late. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, uh, we had McDonald's, uh, obviously, when we were, as we were going home. So I tried to plan it so I could, you know, refill mine before we went home so then i had a coke like with my thing because i already know before we went to mcdonald's that i wanted a big mac and chips um now the thing is like you can get that uh, from a receipt uh, you get like a big mac and chips i think it's for like 1.99 or 2.99 i can't uh, exactly remember the the price uh, all you have to do is just basically fill out a form online and then you basically get given a code and you write that code on the receipt um so it's a really easy thing and you know you get a big mac and fry so you know what's uh, what's not to have um uh but you don't get a drink with that like you don't order it as a meal um so that's why i tried to like kind of get the coke as well so then i basically had a full meal so you know like i had the you know the the things and everything um so yeah and then uh i actually think i said it later on in the vlog as well uh with another thing i had as well um so yeah that's what i tried to plan that and obviously uh, we as i said we did go to the shop i don't actually think we bought anything actually i actually i think we bought some medals or something i think i actually bought my strong t-shirt in 2017 as well or was that 2015 i can't remember but uh yeah i remember that i did the the strong challenge which is basically where you go on six roller coasters i think um and it basically spells out the thing strong basically um so yeah well uh, let's uh keep watching this Cold. It's actually quite warm here. It so was quite warm. We'll be back on the road going home. So after my uh, Big Mac and chips, I had a McFlurry. Rolo there McFlurry. you go. It's the new McFlurry that came out. Yeah. Normally when we uh, normally when we uh, sit in to have a McDonald's, it usually results in a McFlurry. And fun fact, if we actually go in and sit in when we have breakfast uh, at McDonald's sometimes, uh, then uh, we try and time it so we kind of finish at half ten, so then we can have a McFlurry. So, <laughs> you go in for a breakfast, and then what do you do? You come out and have a McFlurry at the same time. And obviously I'm just finishing off this coat that I got from Martin Towers. It's really cool. nice. So I actually also remember as well, like this is completely going off off this vlog, but it was in another vlog. I think it was in one of my, uh, one of my vlogs when I went to... Uh, when I went on a holiday or for like a day trip thing. Uh, I remember I went and then as we were going home, it was like midnight. Uh, and what we did is we pulled into we pulled into McDonald's and just ordered a McFlurry. <laughs> because I wanted one. And, you know, there were just a few other attempts where we tried to go through the drive through and order a McFlurry. And uh, the response was, the ice cream machine has decided to clean itself. I'm going to conclude this vlog here because obviously when I get home, I just want to crash out in my bed until like 11 tomorrow morning. So to be honest, I think I was actually asleep until so 11 in the morning. Video, 11 in the morning. Like button, turn it blue. Let's see if we that can was get a cool, edit. amount of likes. And also, if you're new, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, then make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll get notified. Okay, so, um... Right. Obviously, this is cool editing, you know, the subscribe thing. I don't do anything like that now. Um, the, what I try to do is I try to have that. I try to have this notification bell down here. But because it was black, it was kind of like clashing with my T-shirt as well. Um, so, yeah, I basically put it up there where you could, you know, like visibly see right, it. Every time I upload a new video. So, until the next video, guys, take care and peace. Oh, yeah, I did that with the camera, didn't I? This photo, masterpiece. Can I just say, I made this outro myself, basically, because obviously now I uh, I, I I use a website called Panzoid. I don't know if you guys know what it is, um, but that's what I use to make my intro. The outro that I have as well, I made myself as well. Um, I basically just like made the outro and, uh, 
you know, basically got some copyright free music and uh, obviously the animation. I kind of like do it myself. Um, but um, yeah, this was kind of like my first time where I kind of like animated an outro. So I basically took a nice photo of me, which is basically my signature pose of me going. So, uh, I mean, obviously now it's, it's you know, like the, the cringy thumbs up, as you can see in the thumbnail for my SCR live stream episode 18 for some reason. That's my recommended one. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, I basically took a cringy photo or uh, took a cringy photo, which I think was from uh, Truck Fest. Um, yeah, you can see it's basically it's on a car and me going uh sort of thing so um and then basically what i did with the music is where is when it was like the you know the did, 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 on the you know like the switches i switched between the photo it's hard to explain but i guess like you mean and then basically i kind of uh, like made it where i could have the end screen annotations on so i'm really happy with uh, how the outro came out and i had this uh, outro for some of the things as well and that was it basically so yeah as i said it wasn't really a cringy video. I mean, there are still a few cringy things in there, especially with the three minutes of the uh, of the In the Night Garden theme tune with nothing going on. Further than that, I think it was pretty cool. Again, as I said, uh, there were a few other cringy things in there, but not as cringy as that. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed reacting to that. So as I said, it's not really a video that you know I'm you know I wanted to delete off YouTube. This is one. This is one of the, those that I actually want to keep. Uh, something that would have made it a bit uh, a bit better, I think, is uh, obviously filming on the rise. But obviously, you can't do that um, with, without a GoPro and permission, um, because obviously, even if you have a GoPro and you know that you can record on rise, you still need to ask for permission as well. Um, you can't just you know turn up to a thing and just go and you know just put on chest mount. Hey, let's record. Well, yeah, you need to ask for permission from the thing. Um, if uh, recording on the rise wasn't uh, uh well, you know wasn't a thing, and obviously it wasn't back then. Obviously as well, you could have uh, recorded a few shots of the rise going around. But again, I was kind of uh, you know a bit busy, so I didn't have time to do that. But yeah, again, just all things that you know you can take in, into consideration to probably make a vlog better. But yeah, that was a video I posted in 2017, and I think it was really, I think it was uh, very well. So if you did like this, sorry about that voice break. If you did like this video, then leave a like on this video. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already, as we're trying to hit 5,000 before the 14th of March. Can it be done? It is down to you. Consider becoming a channel member as well if you would like to, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.